Hello everybody. Today is the first day of the Genshin Impact 3.0 beta and we have received a massive amount of leaks on Genshin Impact Twitter. So I want to go through a little bit of it as well as some of the significant of it. The most important one I want to talk about is the major overhaul or buff to some of the existing system or weapon that we have in Genshin Impact. Starting off, we have the brand new Hydro Resonance buff as well as the update to the Thunder Fury and the Crimson Wish artifact. Um, in our two year history of Genshin Impact, there weren't that many instances where a character or artifact were buffed it. Um, we had one time during the Jolly Fiesta back in 1.3 where he was buffed and so did the Geo Resonance got changed. And then we had like a minor buff in 1.5 in terms of transformative damage and stuff. But overall, we have never really seen any major changes like this, so this would be the first or you can say the second time where Genshin Impact received major buff to some of the current existing system in the game. In the brand new Hydro Resonance, um, aside from getting affected by Pyro for 40% less time, um, instead of receiving um, incoming healing increased by 30%, you now have all your character max HP increased by 25%, which is absolutely massive for any HP scaling character out there, and I'm talking about characters like Yelin or Kokomi. With the release of Yelin, Double Hydro instantly became top of the meta in Genshin Impact, where running Sinchus and Yelin together is really really strong, and now you will be able to proc the brand new Hydro Resonance as well. But to be honest, if you were previously playing a Hydro main DPS, there's a good chance that you should already be running Double Hydro, since a lot of these Hydro characters have high elemental burst costs, and so by running two Hydro characters, you can reduce their energy recharge by a significant amount, and it's especially important on character like Kokomi where their elemental skill doesn't generate too much energy and you really want to be casting their elemental burst off cooldown. Getting HP% percent is no joke on the two characters that can scale with HP, especially since they can both directly convert HP into damage. Uh, for example, Yelin directly scale off HP to do damage. So getting a 25% max HP increase on your Yelin could easily translate to about a 10% overall damage increase on your Yelin, which is really really big as it's basically a free cost if you're a C0 free to play Yelin. Unfortunately, you do lose the current effect which increases your incoming healing by 30%. Uh, fortunately though, the two Hydro Healer or free, I guess Barbara, all have their healing scale of HP. And so you will still be able to receive healing increase in the new effect. It just wouldn't be as much since uh, receiving 30% incoming healing is a little bit better than just increasing your max HP up by 25%. Um, the good news here is that this here does not increase Kokomi damage at all since Kokomi scale off the healing bonus of her stats. But this right here does not increase the healing bonus but rather increase the healing that you receive. So um, this right here currently does not benefit Kokomi in any way but the brand new Hydro Resonance will be able to increase Kokomi HP by 25% which make her much stronger than before. The other thing that increasing your max HP by 25% does is that it just make your entire team tankier as everybody got 25% extra HP. It mean that everybody can take a little bit more damage and so that might just be enough for you to run a solo scene shields as your defensive option through his defense reduction as well as a little bit of healing um, because everybody can tank a little bit more damage so the need of you need to bring a dedicated healer is a little lower assuming you can get by with the amount of effective HP that you have. But of course Kokomi slash Dylan or even Singshu slash Barbara are not the only HP scaling character in the game. In fact there are a few other HP scaling characters in the game like Hu Tao. Running Hu Tao with double Hydro is going to be insanely massive because the brand new resonance can not only increase Yelin damage by a good chunk, it will also be able to benefit your Hu Tao as Hu Tao also scale of HP. And so when Hu Tao double Hydro is already really strong, this team just got buffed by a lot. The buff doesn't end there though. Even Zhang Li is a HP scaling character because the more HP you have, the bigger shield you can make. And currently running Hu Tao with double Hydro and Zhang Li is a really solid option because Zhang Li is able to shred both Hydro and Pyro resistance. And if you happen to run the Petrissa under Zhang Li, then he can also provide you with say 30% of damage increase on your Yilin and Xing Chus. And now you're gonna get a tankier Zhang Li on top of further damage increase on Yilin and Hu Tao just from running double Hydro, making this seem really, really solid. 
With the brand new Hydro Resonance, if you're running double Hydro with your Hu Tao, you might want to start looking for an Elemental Mastery Sense very soon or even now. Um, you Right now, at the current moment, both Elemental Mastery Sense and HP Sense are very very viable on your Hu Tao. Uh, depending on which one you have more, depending on the subset on the artifact, one can argue to be better than the other. In general, Elemental Mashi will etch out a little bit if they're the exact same, but they're both very viable options and are competitive. However, as now you get a 25% HP for free, um, the value of your HP sense is going to decrease relatively speaking to the Elemental Mastery sense since you're going to be lacking Elemental Mastery instead. And that 25% HP increase might just be enough to push Elemental Mastery uh, a good chunk ahead on your Hu Tao instead of running an HP sense. So that might be something you want to start looking out for. In fact, the next point that I want to talk about is that you want to start keeping all your Elemental Mastery artifact, not just on your Sands, but also maybe on your Circlet, as well as on your Goblet. Aside from the brand new Hydro Resonance being leaked, the brand new Dandro Resonance that you get from running two Dandro characters were also leaked today, which focus on buffing your Elemental Mastery amount. You will get 50 Elemental Mastery by default, and after you trigger it in reaction, depending on which one you get, you will get an additional 20 to 30 Elemental Mastery. Now, at this point of the video, I have to make it very clear that everything I said before and after this are all based on leaked data that could easily change at any given moment, especially when it comes to Dandro, since none of us are entirely sure how Dandro is gonna work. So, a lot of these could just be like copium take. Um, but Previously, uh, a lot of us had high suspicions that Dandro is going to be an element that focused on reaction and it's going to scale pretty much based off Elemental Mastery. And this brand new Dandro Resonance kind of confirm it as it provides purely Elemental Mastery. Um, the reason it, it just makes sense from a design point of perspective where Genshin Impact has been a game where it's about causing reaction with each element and when Mihoyo revealed that Dandro is going to be a triple element reaction where you have to do Dandro plus Hydro plus Enen Pyro or Dandro plus Hydro plus Pyro, it is really apparent that their entire focus is going to be you causing reaction around Dandro and therefore they are all going to scale extremely well with Elemental Mastery. In some of the leaked Dandro character kit, you will also be able to see that they are somewhat focused on triggering reaction to do certain things. And as Elemental Mastery is the primary stat that deal with buffing reaction, um, that is the reason why you want to start looking out for those Elemental Mastery artifacts starting from now as well as just keeping them in preparation for Dandro. Keep in mind that Elemental Mastery main start artifact does have a lower rate to drop, especially on both the circlet and the goblet, and so it will be a mistake to toss them away right now. Um, they might not actually be that useful and you might not want to level them right away, but just keeping them in case they are actually useful could be very very beneficial in the future, especially for future Dendro characters that scale with Elemental Mastery like Taiganani. Keep in mind that Elemental Mastery main start artifact does have a lower rate to drop, especially on both the circlet and the goblet, and so it would be a mistake to toss them away right now. Um, they might not actually be that useful and you might not want to level them right away, but just keeping them in case they are actually useful could be very very beneficial in the future, especially for future Dendro characters that scale with Elemental Mastery like Taiganani. One of the other things that I'm practically really interested in as well is the fact that both Crimson Witch of Flame and Thunder Fury got buffed to include the Dandro reaction as well. Um, now while these two artifacts are not very resistant efficient to farm at the current moment, they will also be introduced to the strong box to uh, convert in the 3.0 patch. So something else that you could consider, uh, not again, there's another thing that I'm practically interested in as well, and that is the Crimson Witch of Flame artifact as well as the Thunder Fairy artifact. Now, both of these artifacts are going to get an update in the 3.0 patch as well to include the Dandro reaction. So, for example, Crimson Witch of Flame increased your overload and burning damage by 40%, and it's going to get updated to increase the whatever Dandro reaction is called. I think it's like Quicken or whatever. Uh, so, that would be really interesting. And of course, these two artifacts are not the most resin efficient to farm at the current moment, but they will be introduced to the strong boss in the Genshin Impact 3.0 patch. So, something that might be worth considering for you 
uh, is to start saving a lot of these trash artifacts and not convert them to whatever right away and instead wait for the 3.0 patch to drop and then convert them to either crimson witch or flame or thunder fury if they end up proven to be quite good uh, again we don't know yet but it doesn't hurt to prepare for them this could also be a good chance to pick up a four piece set crimson witch of flame for your bandit or your hotel especially that em sense that we were mentioning in the earlier part of the video with the double hydro update for hydro resonance giving you hp instead now i don't want to be too irresponsible so i have to tell you guys that everything i said here are based off leak which could not only change as soon as tomorrow but could also just straight up be wrong or maybe my current vision of elemental mastery is actually incorrect maybe dandro is actually going to be a element that scale of purely based on raw damage and so you have done all the preparation for nothing take everything here with a grain of salt and evaluate for yourself if you should prepare for the release of dandro especially in terms of artifacts since resin is very limited and after 3.0 drop you probably want to focus all your resin into the brand new dandro artifact to make sure that you have artifact on your dandro characters and so that's why it in my personal opinion these preparation could help um again those are like preparing elemental mastery artifact or just preparing fodder for your strong box for the crimson witch and the thunder fairy update in the strong box in 3.0 now with that being said um, as we approach the release of 3.0 and dandro um, both before the release and after the release we're gonna focus a lot of our effort in dandro um, we're gonna start dropping video on them very very soon especially since we are able to confirm how some of the dental reaction work in the 3.0 beta right now and so in the next few weeks we're going to do a lot of dental video so as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe especially and i'll see you guys all next time as we talk about dental a little bit more